Good evening everyone, welcome to North and South. As we look at the fine intrepid balloon, look at this, isn't it wonderful? Wound up, okay, uh, wound up on a winch as you can see so somebody can get into their uh, extra visibility. He's not going to get his horse in there somehow unfortunately, but never mind. Anyway, it is the Union versus the Confederacy tonight. This is the Union Army battle on a Saturday, Brigadier General Murch. And there's Sergeant Sturog. And Sergeant Orange. Looking decidedly un-orange like. But never mind. Anyway, over here. There is Second Lieutenant. A reading from the fine members of the New York State Militia, the 14th, those red legged devils. And look, oh my goodness, look at how many there are today. Complete with Captain James Bianco covering the rear. Now, <laughs> war cries everywhere. Here is Major Von Platten from the 68th New York leading his boys out. No Bennett's fixed at this current moment. Old Glory over here on the right hand side. Let's find out who these fellows are. Here, the 7th Wisconsin. And you can see them moving out towards the section of buildings. Captain First Salakos, or Salkos, I should say, my apologies. And there's Recruit Retamar. So let's have a look around. Ah, the 47th Virginia. <laughs> Recruit Smack. And there's Corporal Splitter now following in behind them. There's Colonel Vivar from the 55th Alabama. Look at these guys. Sold, sold out to Butrego. Wolf Howl. And there's Christian in there as well. And a commanding officer on a horse who seems to be escaping the camera. Come back, you bugger. Oi! Come back and be filmed. Okay, there we go. Staff Lieutenant Thorvik from the Hayes Regiment. And look at this. Engineering occurring over here, courtesy of Private Compton from the 18th LA. And you can see him building the earth and works, doing a fine job. On the artillery is Private Brian, working together with artillery Captain Garrett from the 18th. Louisiana. Don't they look wonderful? Fine engineering skills occurring there. Oh, look at this. More balloonage. And we can hear the shooting coming from the woods up ahead as artillery captain Garrett has managed to shoot himself in the head very unfortunate as William McCauley turns out to be one of the first victims of the Taliban so let's just wait and see but no Taliban is then killed almost immediately by Reading and now down here there's Thomas Beale from the 3rd US Together with his fellows, there we go, more of the 3rd US, don't they look lovely this evening? There's John Von Walsam, Sergeant. Now, up here, we're seeing some cavalry, and you can see it looks like... Oh, very... oh dear, John Billman, oh god, what's going on? Yeah, it looks like a troll by the looks of it. As there's Private Madness. Bit of bit of medicking there for the lads. And now there's Captain French 90. Second Lieutenant Mitchell. With a bit of cannoneering. Goodness, uh, the 14th New, New York State Militia moving out. Look at that fine snaking line. He looks to be staff men here. There you go. Monotone Monoto Wall Jackson. I love it. Great name, Monotone. Captain Jameson, there's Sergeant Marissi from the 2nd Connecticut. And these fine mounted gentlemen this evening, cocaine dealer, fresh from Denmark. And Alucard finished off by John Volsom. Now you can see these guys making their way over the fence. Oh, look at this. And Carolus trying to avoid. Oh, the sword coming in here from a Brigadier General Merch doing a little bit of uh, anti-soldiering there. As this poor fellow is running. Not anymore. 
as Carolus gets cut down. Oh goodness! Oh goodness me! What is going on today? Oh God! Fire at wheel. Dear, oh dear. Brutal team killing today. Unfortunately, there are those people out there who feel the necessity to ruin other people's enjoyment because they like being dicks. And that's all they are. Dicks. So. Oh, Cannibal coming in into Todd's Angel. He's no more. William McCauley also finished off and we're following Recruit Shadow Furtive. Only the Shadow knows. Yes, I've been watching that. And here are the 51st. So let's see who's leading the 51st today. There's Colonel Laquell. Look at that gentleman. Doesn't he look fine as he's making his way through the woods? Trying to avoid the trees if he possibly can. Oh, what's this? Look at this. Potential for ambush. Oh, these fine fellows are going to get ambushed. This could be the 14th New York State Militia getting ambushed. Marshal GE holding on to the flag. And they've managed to make it through. John Reed, unfortunately, did not. Private of the New York State Militia. Cut down. As he makes his way through. So. These guys now moving in. Here we go. Soldier at Gorilla. And it looks like they were trying to intercept. Unfortunately, only a single man... Ambushed from the New York State Militia, but here are some cannons. So Captain French and his friends. Second Lieutenant Mitchell going after the guys in the woods. So Soldat Almirante. Uh, oh, cannons coming into the New York State Militia. Here is Staff Lieutenant Thorvik from Hayes, who's crashed into a building. Obviously, he didn't see it coming. It snuck on it, snuck up on him. As you can see now, Staff Lieutenant Vanza trying to deal with the enemy. Manuel Pro from the 41st Texan, sorry, Tennessee. I'm apologies. My apologies, everyone. Tennessee. And uh, let's just see what's going on. Who are these fellows? The 47th Virginia, Andrew Polonius, leading out his boys. Look at this. Recruit crack, E. And now let's see. Here comes Veterano Kavoth, checking the buildings. And missing. Oh, poor Kavoth. It looks like he's got his bayonet fixed. And you can see here, the Union. Uh, oh! Corporal Hadel coming in with a little bit of rifle butt action. You can't beat a little bit of butt action on a Saturday night. Let's just wait and see who's this man who's running backwards. Yeehaw indeed. It's Recruit Fursky. Oh, he's not a recruit anymore. Seventh Wisconsin have lost another man. And the 47th Virginia get ready to move out. And here is Private John from the 11th New York. You can see these guys sorting themselves out. Into their various lines, moving away. And here, obviously. It's fine, guys from Tennessee. Who's this gentleman? Colonel Ville. You can see the bayonets being fixed. And loading weapons. Look at this. The 18th Louisiana. Yeehaw indeed, as Marissi gets taken down and William Pona, and here is Major Dominic, leader of the 11th New York this evening, moving out with his boys, making sure they're trying to, looks like they're going to go New York next, le next round, so let's see, oh, John Von Walsen with a quick, uh, oh, Charlie the Turtle, from First Texas, let's see. Here is Powder Cage from 2nd Connecticut. Looking for an opportunity to stab someone. Oh, looks like opportunities will exist over here as Recruit Smack and the 47th Virginia charge forward. 
the battle cry. And over here you can see Mr. Mage Mason from the 3rd Massachusetts. Oh, down goes the turtle. The turtle is no more. No shell will protect Mr. Turtle tonight. There's Corporal Hadel. And, oh, look at this. Slicing coming in. Thomas Beal from the 3rd US. Fine sabre work. Look at that. Oh, he gets blocked that time as he goes in for a third kill. But Thomas Beale doing a fantastic job. And a fourth. Beale. Yeah, that's certainly what he did. So. Thomas Beale now returning. Oh, no. Looking for more punch-ups. Here we go. Thomas Beale. Oh, another one. Oh, now he's going to get absolutely ganged. Oh, dear. Thomas Beale. That's exactly what happened. Cabo Albert came up and stabbed him in the bottom. Never mind. Private John. With the 11th New York. Joining in on the remaining line. So. Indeed, that's what they're going to do. There's Manual Pro. Let's check our numbers. 10 and 2. No, 22. Oh, dear. Oh, we've lost a recruit. Shot down by Recruit Johnny. Recruit on recruit action. Oh, down goes VM King. Paboing! What a fine name. Paboing! And let's see. Yeehaw indeed. Oh, brutal shooting by Colonel Brutus. Into his enemy. Alexander Stark gets murdered by Amarante. Recruit Dandy and Reinhard Low. Nora Water. Nora Warrator. Private Garrett. Who's this man? It's Colonel Brutus from the first. United States sharpshooters. Murdered horribly by furtive. Here's Private Chinkiller from the first Ohio. Who seems to be all on his own. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. And there he is, the beacon. Chinkilla waiting. Can he get a kill? Unfortunately not. So it looks like he's going to move over to the wooden bridge and take on his attackers. So... Melso saying hello to YouTube. <laughs> now, it's whether or not they'll fight all as a group or one by one. I'm suspecting that that will not occur. Let's see. Ching Killer going for the kill. Oh, fine. Turn and stab by Ching. Oh, he goes down. Brutally killed by Cabo Albert. Again, another kill. And so we move on to the next round. And so we return on the second round. As you can see here, the 7th Arkansas. Moving out over the tents. Oh my goodness, it's Toxic Biscuit. Not looking very toxic today, but time will tell as we check out the Confederate State spawn. 16th Alabama, Colonel Epic Pizza. Oh dear. Problems in the lines. And there's Tenford from the 41st Tennessee. Look at that. Captain, no less. And he's following at the back of the line tonight. And over here we've got Portuguese guy. And who's this man? Oh, look at that. Uh, Staff Everton channeling his inner diddles. We miss the diddles. And 
here, Captain Edward Bennett leading out the Louisians. And there's Toxic Biscuit again. And Staff Lieutenant Thorvik by the balloon. The intrepid balloon, no less. Look at that. Isn't it wonderful? Private Robley from Louisiana. Now, who's this fellow here? Colonel Morton, also from Louisiana. Look at that. Fine character, fine beard on that gentleman, a man of age, obviously, in experience. Oh, look at this. Fast moving cannons. Artillery Corporal Vikers followed with Private Brian, also from the artillery, going in. A quick attack on a horse. Is he gonna? Is he? Yeah, he's trying to get in there. He's trying to get in there to do the standard mountain blade. There we go. The standard mountain blade artillery hitch. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know why, but it makes me laugh every time. It's just so ridiculously stupid, but funny. Anyway. And there, the 51st. Oh, look at this over here. As you can hear all the shooting going on in the background. Louisiana's waiting for the off with Edward Bennett. Waiting to lead his boys forward. So let's see if we can go and find out where all the shooting is occurring. Oh, look at all this. Oh, look at that. Kill those Yankee scum. Send them Yankees back to hell. Don't they look wonderful? And there's a horse's ass. Anyway, um, let's just move on. And let's have a look as Cortez, you can see here, there's Tango DK. And there's Colin Mulder, a recruit of the Georgian sharpshooters. Oh, that fine rifle reporting. Lovely stuff. And over here on their right side, we have a gentleman, Colonel Vilhay from Tennessee. Look at these Veterano Lone Shark. Coming up from the hill and shooting. And this lovely little line down here. The Alabamans. Wolf Howl. Nofre. Jimenez. And Christian all moving up to do some shooting. Into the enemy. Look at that. Moving down into cover. And they're moving up so they can shoot. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go up high. See if we can get an idea of the movement of the teams. Now, oh dear, Chin Killer's just shot himself in the testicles. Not good. So, here you see the main layout of the map. You can see this area here where the artillery spawns. You've got movement areas over by the farmstead, at the crossroads, and the cannons. Looks like they're coming under attack. But you've also got these areas around the back here. The wooded area gives them plenty of cover. Look at this. Looks like artillery coming under attack here. As the Texans try to defend themselves. The 11th Texans. And a little bit of team killing in there as well. Eugene Beaver. Oh no. We left it to Beaver and it didn't work. And you can see the balloon. The attack on the balloon. So you can see them using maybe that balloon for a little bit of an extra visibility possibly. We'll have to see. It's nearby the spawn. So it won't give them a huge advantage. So you can see here by the farmsteads and small huts, it looks like they are getting very aggressive here. We look down by the cannon spots. Now you can see here that they're actually defending the cannons quite significantly. Engineering works in place. But the cavalry is floating around. You've got additional forces. There we go. Lines forming up. 
trying to push in on that point as Mitchell takes down Marissi veteran loan shark gets shot by Johnny and you can see these guys forming up a fine line causing their enemy to flee back to cover towards the little stony bridge and you can see the lines on the bank here over the other side of the little stony bridge cannons in the far distance so we shall move down to the little stony bridge and find out what's going on at the troop level and these guys having to flee epic pizza leading his guys away from the battle and across this little stony bridge now this is going to be a dangerous traverse for them got to watch out for the cannonballs you can see here dodging left right and center the sergeant Cro crocve and also behind them there is staff Everton from the first division so no we've lost shadow furtive no poor shadow gunned down in his prime and following up behind them is the third us private templar in leading this line as de wengler gets taken down alexander stark also finished off by veterano hazar now this is going to be a difficult situation for them because if they're going to make a run across this bridge kind of point proved um is the fact that yeah maskin asked for bandages about a millisecond after he bled to death is this reason here these guys are going to be waiting and waiting to ambush them as they come over the bridge as you can see that's pretty much what's happened these guys have been smart they've jumped out to one side but the wisconsin's there's monotobal jackson from the second connecticut and captain jameson one of the cavalrymen are getting involved oh brutal shooting going in there but they're coming back and they're fighting here staff Everton as we follow him going in for a bit of stabby goodness oh look at this Everton getting one stab he's trying to defend himself against multiple attacks he's supported by teammate Nathan Jones over there on one side sorry epic pizza I should say gotta be careful not to stab each other and there's one and there's a second slice and epic pizza going for the final kill recruit retamar is finished off so 24 and 28 still all to play for as epic pizza and Ellerton have survived sergeant crockver private duran well precisely so epic pizza now making his way back across the stony bridge to team up with his teammates also from the confederate state army Andrew, colonel andrew polonius from the 47th virginia no doubt part of the fine north virginian army oh dear oh goodness me this is not looking good up here you can see now cavalry circling around these guys private boucher 21 oh schnell has been taken down craig lind and there we go down goes another guy boucher 21 gets bled to death by general welsh and general welsh is now doing a number on these guys oh dear down goes a horse down goes a man nearly it's staff lieutenant thorvik who's this it's brigadier general welsh from the hayes brigade going in for a slice oh so close there as the new york state militia ah oh, look at this coming in here those fine members from Virginia coming in to support their teammate. Who's this fella? There we go, the New York State Militia. Oh, barged to the floor and stabbed mercilessly. Oh, that's just brutal. Oh dear, the New York State Militia finished off brutally. And now, the members of the Confederate State Army are moving out. 
<laughs> oh dear, who was that? Somebody didn't go well. <laughs> oh dear, Colonel Brutus being taken down. But <laughs> Oh uh, dear. So they recruit ball there. An Afro Hun. Wow, what a fine name. And there's a beacon. Look at that. Who's left? Merch and Sturog. Here is Brigadier General Merch with a beacon on his head. His final request, Jewel Everton. Uninterrupted. There we go, look at that. There's War Turtle. Poor Brigadier General Merch. <laughs> Fighting talk from Brigadier General Merch. Everton. <laughs> Here he is. Here we go, look at this. Merchant Editon. <laughs> That's not what you call an uninterrupted duel. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God, worst timing ever. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> well, as you said, you're accurate, but unfortunately exactly the wrong time. <laughs> and the Confederacy win the round. Wow. Let's move on to the next round. Well, here we are after a map change. With the Union forces moving out. Let's find gentleman James McFarland from the 3rd US with his Binox. Cocaine dealer from Connecticut, also with Binox. Private Madness from Ohio. Oh, look at that. Cavalryman. Oh dear. Private Chinkiller. Getting in the way of everyone. <laughs> 68th New York. There's Gasset from the Ohio. And there's Second Lieutenant Mitchell. What's going on over here? Recruit Dar, who seems to be following a horse for some reason. Yeah. You can see that the FPS is a little bit... up and down at the moment. Obviously... Some of these maps will need optimising. Oh, look at that. Oh dear, we lost Sapper Sapno. What a fine name there. So there's Private Boucher. Engineering from Sapper. The fine Sapno.
And there's a duel still going on between Everton and Merch. Let's hope it's uninterrupted this time. There's Sapno continuing to build his earthworks. So those guys will be defending the artillery. Private bubble holding the flag. So you can hear the cannonballs whistling around today. And we move out to find more troops. Private Robert from the 68th New York. 41st Tennessee. Let's check, because it could be Tennessee or it could be Texan. I think it's Tennessee because they're, yeah, it's all TN. And they're, of course, Captain Tenford. Fine beard on that gentleman tonight. The 47th Virginia, recruit crack, E. And Andrew Polonius. Now, over here, we have somebody of a general style. There's Vanza, Staff Lieutenant. Now, oh, look at this, our old friend. The two-dimensional bird. Hello, two-dimensional bird. Overlooking this fine battle this evening. And down goes veteran Lone Shark, killed by Boucher. So, let's see. Get an idea of what's going on. You can see forces moving over here on the right-hand side towards the farm wood, or the farm house and barn area, but looks to be defended. Yep, cannons to the right of them, cannons to the left of them. As veteran Kavol is taken down, and here is an attack by the Confederate State Army. The 41st Texan. Moving in. As they've set fire to the tents. Oh, the humanity. And now, who's this gentleman? Oh, Private Madness. Well, that's the madness cured, that's for damn sure. Taken down, and now you can see the first Ohio with Bubble, Recruit Fursky, and Private Sir from Wisconsin making a move out, he's trying to get over this fence, which is difficult. Oh, it's going to be very difficult, especially if somebody stabs him, which is exactly what's happening. Oh, double stabbed. Oh, poor Private Sir, taken down by Ace, and they've lost old glory. That's a real serious problem for them. Yee-haw, indeed. Now, over here, carrying this flag, is Mr. Mage Mason, from the 11th New York, Private Denmark. Sapper Sapno, the Sapper of Sapness. And Major General William gets taken down. And here is the Chief Louisiana. see these guys trying to shoot at the guys coming through the woods without killing their own commanding officer obviously or John or sergeant I should say and there's Colonel Moulton or Mouton watching to make sure things are occurring Staff Lieutenant Vanza oh goodness me oh dear that's not gone well As Charlie the Turtle loses his life. Now, there is Catcher of Cannonballs, Mr. Everton.
So you can see Staff Heatherton here working together with members of the 18th Alabama. Oh, sorry, 18th Louisiana, my apologies. And these guys are looking for an opportunity now. Let's see. Join the union. Merch has cookies. There we go. That's the sales pitch. As Garrett takes down multiple members of the New York State Militia. And here you can see those members of the New York State Militia. And the members here of the 68th. These guys. Oh dear. We've lost Philip Riley. This is not looking good for the New York State Militia. They're going to need to move out quite soon. Otherwise they're going to start losing more people. There's Michael Kelly making their way through the woods. And these guys taking fire from multiple directions. But predominantly from behind the cover of the fences from the 18th Louisiana. Oh, Private Robert from the 68th. Down goes recruit John Hennington from the New York State Militia. Recruit. Not anymore. Oh dear, look at that. Brutal, brutal losses for the New York State Militia. You see these guys from the 68th New York. Fine white-legged gentleman. Zimbile. Out comes the ma out comes the medicking. Ah! Fine medicking coming in here. There's private result. And there's Tim Thimbile. Going for a long distance shot on an enemy cavalryman. Now another me medic over here, volunteer left 05, 005. Oh, look at this. The second Lieutenant Michel. So. Paggy J, PFC of 2nd Connecticut. Oh, the New York State Militia are having trouble again. Not looking good for them. What's going on over here? Stabby goodness occurring. Look at that. B. Holborn getting into a bit of stabby goodness. Up against one of these gentlemen here. You've got Schneldra. And Mark Armistad. Oh dear. And they're also being attacked. Oh, there we go. Medicking work being done on him. The bleed being contained. And one of the few members of these gentlemen left. Private B. Holborn. Over here. Fighting for his life. Michael Kelly of the New York State Militia. Private Rob. Oh, he takes a stab. Oh, and he takes another stab. Brutal, brutal ending. Over here. Is this? Yes, it is, Mr. Holborn. Private Holborn, the last remaining member. And not anymore. <laughs> Barged to the floor by Thorvik. And then shot m multiple times by the Confederate state officer. <laughs> A little cruel, but you know, I suppose Edward Bennett is just making sure. Never mind. As unfortunately for Bereg Balu, the bleed has claimed him. So, the next round, everyone's going to go cav. Oh, God, that's going to get very messy indeed. Yes, the cavalry. Better watch out. Private Ace moving out from the 11th Texan. The Sergeant War Turtle. Oh, look at that. Fine jump over the fence. Good stuff indeed. There's Foxy Maxi. And there's Recruit Smack. And there's Recruit Colin Mulder. As well, Monotomal Jackson has been killed. Cut down by Staff Lieutenant Vanza. We're looking at the Alabamans here. Manuel Pro from the 41st. And there is Tenford. Looking a little bloodied, but still can see what he's doing. Let's hope he doesn't walk into the tree. No, he doesn't. This is excellent. And there. Soldado Joan. 
Manuel Pro, Cabo Albert, Veterano Hussar. Fantastic stuff to see. Oh, look at this, a defensive position on behalf of the 3rd Division of the Union Army. Who else is in here? It's Colonel Brutus of the United States Sharpshooters. Although at this current moment they appear to be the stationary shooters. And Tenford and his men are going to be attacking. Got to be careful. Shots going in through the windows. Brigadier General Merch and Starrog cut down with pistols. Oh, this is brutal. Tenford and his troops all stuck in the doorway. As down goes Staff Everton, shot down by Alexander Stark. Tenford taking down Paboing. I love that name. Fantastic name to say. Paboing. And there we go. You can see more stabbing occurring as the brutal murdering in the building continues. The final stand. Corporal Landry. Oh dear. Brutus OP. Nerf Brutus. Now, let's see. Private Denmark is about to get sliced. There we go. Shot down by Wigman Fred. And we move on to the next round. Cavalry only. Well, they're live, and I've come in as the Union, but I come in as a Hornist. No cavalry for me. This is definitely needed for the cavalry. And down goes Everton already. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank you for that teleport, sir. What a fine gentleman. Bloody hell, have I dropped me horn? I've dropped me bloody horn! No, get off me, you bastards! No, I can't horn it! I can't do me horn! Get off, you sods! Oh, did he get a kill? No, he didn't. <laughs> I can't believe it. I dropped the hor dropped me horn to do a uh, salute. That's disappointing. Never mind. Dropped me horn when I saluted. I didn't get to horn at all. How disappointing. Never mind. So there you have it. Cavalry. Cavalry problems and fun and games. As it is North and South. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching as the melee and carnage continues with Here we go, at least somebody's got the horn right. Shadow Furtive. He's crashed. Fine horn work from Shadow Furtive, at least somebody got it right. And the horning comes to an end. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed this evening's North and South Line Battle. And we'll see you again next time for more.